Chief Meteorologist Ashley Ruiz. Hey there, friends. Good evening to you. 79 degrees feels like 81. Winds are starting to shift from the northeast and east-northeast to the south. So it is going to get even more humid than it is outside. We have cloudy conditions. Hopefully you were able to go out and enjoy the nice weather we had over the weekend because our weather pattern is flipping completely. So you see a couple of showers out there, but most of us stayed completely dry, but that is going to change in the coming days. So going forward, about a 20% chance for rain late this evening overnight. We'll likely wake up to some areas of patchy fog, about 70 degrees at 5 a.m., and we'll warm up into the low and mid 80s tomorrow. Rain chance in the mornings, about 30 to 40% increasing to about 70%. I did go ahead and increase the rain chances for tomorrow and Wednesday because it appears as though our uh, rain coverage may be a little higher than what we were previously thinking. So Scattered to numerous showers and storms are expected tomorrow. Highs will be in the mid 80s. And then again, Wednesday, as of right now, looks as though that will be the day where we have the greatest rain coverage. Even though rain coverage is high, doesn't mean that we're going to rain all day and the day is going to be a complete and total loss. But we will have high rain chances the next couple of days, coming down to 50 to 60 percent on Thursday. Thankfully, by the weekend, our rain chance will be significantly lower. So let's take you through the future track again. A couple of showers may be possible overnight. Otherwise, we're mostly cloudy and showers will likely start breaking out to our west and southwest tomorrow morning. And then as the day goes on, rain coverage will increase for our area. But you saw it wasn't widespread heavy rain all day long. As for your Wednesday, may wake up to some showers and then coverage will increase throughout the day as well. And so you could see showers and storms move move from south to north. We'll have a new update on our model guidance later on this evening. And again, that will help us determine which days will likely be the wettest. But for now, tomorrow and Wednesday. Here's Thursday showing a couple of showers, but the best chance will be to our west. So rain coverage will start to back off a little bit starting Thursday, but by Friday, we're mostly dry. And over the next seven days, rain totals look to be quite manageable. But of course, anytime we have rain, you could easily pick up double or triple the amounts, but that's going to be more isolated spots. But again, next seven days, the highest rainfall amounts will be to our west, mainly in Texas. So again, we'll continue to keep you guys posted, but next three days, that's when we'll just have the best chance for rain. Meanwhile, in the tropics, we have major hurricane Sam. It did uh, reach its peak intensity over the weekend, and it weakened a little bit, but it is forecast to become a Cat 4 hurricane once again. Thankfully, it looks as though it will stay to the east of the United States and to the east of Bermuda. Meanwhile, we have two other waves that we're watching in the main development region. They could move into the Caribbean down the road. It's just too early to tell, but the next names on the list, Victor and then Wanda. Notice we only have two names left, and then we move to a supplemental list. Hopefully it doesn't come to that, but it may. So next names after that is Adria and then Braylon, instead of going to the Greek alphabet. But again, no imminent threats to the Gulf Coast, but of course we're watching. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, high rain chances, but not going to be a washout. Temperatures will be in the mid-80s. And then by the weekend, a little warmer, a little more humid as well. But mornings will be a little cooler in the 60s. Meanwhile, for our fur cast, check out this little baby. This is Stella. Thank you to Steve and Suzanne for sharing this photo. And if you would like to see your pet on FurCast, just like sweet baby girl Stella, all you have to do is send a pet photo and name of your pet to aruas at brproud.com, or you can reach out to me on social media. Carly.